transmitting. We are designing the communication system for public safety workers of the future. Currently, our public safety workers are using a technology that works perfectly, but it's not capable to keep up the pace uh, for the broadband uh, technologies. So the project is important to introduce these broadband-based technologies into their communication systems that they are using. Forest fire at the castle of Ljubljana. Firefighter 8, listening. I've been involved in many cross-border interventions and one of the, the main problems is always communication. It's always chaos. As a small country, the Netherlands sometimes uses uh, help from neighbors, but we can't communicate with them on their own system. We have to share uh, uh, radios and that's not the radio they normally use. We use the, the Tetra standards. Uh, it's a communication system uh, for speech. We can talk to each other. Uh, we can share maybe some text, but that's it. Fire, fire. We received the message. We are on the way. systems they, they're very difficult to link together so when we have services coming across to, from borders from other states they're still swapping radios. The idea could be to have less than one second of service interruptions when moving from one country to the other. This is not just a technical uh, challenge, it's a multi-level challenge. It's uh, for sure political and uh, regulatory. It needs to be implemented in a harmonized way. It will be for the practitioner a uniform behavior within the different uh, parts of the network, let's say. The challenges is not uh, from a technical point of view. I think the mobile operators need to be motivated either from a regulatory or commercial point of view to, to implement it simply. For us at the moment, there is no clear business case. This is kind of a exploratory or kind of a testing discovery phase. It's very good to be on this path to explore, to, um, to see what happens, but the exploitation phase is still years, years to come. We need a system we can do the cross-border communication with ease. You so need a system we can share more information, images, video, location, all those kind of things. I think that's the, the future for Europe. Uh, we, we face a lot of new problems, uh, the climate change, we will be more uh, dependent on each other. When we can communicate to each other uh, in the early stage, it will definitely help us by sending the right people, the right material. According to the forecast scenario, in the next two days there will be strong wind due to a perturbation coming from the north. I was most impressed by the fact that we could use a kind of mobile phone, let's say, with a big screen, where it was easy to find the folders, uh, communication groups, and that we could uh, connect a VTT to that device so that we could use it as a just a mobile radio as we are used to do. The ability to uh, simply uh, join the talk group together and, uh, and bring those groups all together on the, on the same device without really any intervention is, is really the key to the whole system. I think it will be interesting to look at um, uh, a radio system that has the, the functions but also has the a little bit more ruggedized uh, capabilities than we have now. I tried to use the device with my firefighter glove that did not work. Uh, I always said uh, the device going to work when it's uh, in the pocket of a firefighter when he is entering, entering a building. 
overall, I think the concept is very strong. Um, I think very much on the right track, and with uh, with development and input from other other users, that feedback is then pushed back into the product. It will really make it a, a big uh, improvement. further invest, make sure that the learnings we have that they are get implemented and completely productified in our products and solutions. We are absolutely committed to be an ambassador for Broadway, its results and of course the phase beyond Broadway.